Okay, so uh, using the finger approach here, uh, now I need one of the methyls to be pointing up and one pointing down. So if my thumbs are the methyls, I would start like this. One thumb is pointing up and one thumb is pointing down. Now, is this going to be con or disrotatory? For the same reason as before, it's still thermal. So one thing I could do is I could start by rotating this thumb counterclockwise. If I rotate this counterclockwise, I should rotate this counterclockwise too. Uh, it's kind of painful. But anyway, um, are my thumbs now, this thumb is where, outside or inside? Outside. And how about this thumb? Outside. So they both end up on the outside. You could also do it both inside. That is a good point. Let's look at that again. So again, one thumb up and one thumb down, but now let's rotate this clockwise. Well, then I should also rotate this one clockwise, and now they're both inside. So that seems like a reasonable product, too. So this also seems like a reasonable product where they're both pointing to the inside. But which of these would you expect to be the major product? <laughs> this one, because, yeah. What would be some fancy organic chemistry jargon that we could use to explain why this is? Stereochemistry. Resonance. Neither of those are correct. Stereochemistry? Like what was that one you said? Stereochemistry? Stereochemistry. Yeah. There you go. That's okay. what I meant by stereochemistry for some reason. Yeah, I kind of suspected that. OK. <laughs> All right, all right, so I've been trying to um, really encourage you guys to use resonance whenever possible, but here we have to go back to our old good standby of uh, uh, steric hindrance. You can just, um, this is, I think, what you meant when you said that this just doesn't look very happy. We know that electron clouds don't like being close to each other, so in general, inside substituents are a little less happy than outside substituents, because outside substituents are further away. You really don't like to have two inside substituents. So actually, um, you should take a look at your answer key. I don't know if even both of these would be shown as products here. Um, I don't know whether, uh, you should definitely show this as a product, um, but this would, I think, be a, a minor product. I don't know whether it would usually be shown or not, so you, you'll have to look at the answer key and see what they usually show in this type of situation. Um, but that is one thing to watch out for. When you're doing the finger method, you have to consider what happens when you um, move your fingers either clockwise or counterclockwise. That might give you different results. Um, but in general, the two outsides is going to be preferred to the two insides. All right, so. On our quiz yesterday, there was a question that asked, why? I don't know. It asked a question that said why, and I wasn't sure, so I just said because of resonance, and I got okay. it right. Uh, did you get full credit? Yeah. Full credit? Uh, you're lucky I'm not your TA. I would never get full credit for just putting in the word resonance. Did, did you actually draw any resonance structures? <laughs> How can they give you full credit for that? All you're right. not supposed to draw any. It was like, because like the first part had a first question. It uh -huh. said like, these kinds of bases are stronger than these kinds of bases. Right. Why is that? And <laughs> so then I said, because of resonance. But you need to show resonance structures to show why that, well, your, your TA is a pushover. No, you probably have to show just combination. I didn't show anything. Yeah, I know, but like that's Because uh, it was like, that to do with combination. No, but they I, circled resonance and said check. Yeah. In general, though, it's always good to supplement the word resonance with pictures of the actual resonance structures that show what the reason is. All right, but this is one case where resonance wasn't the answer. Uh, in fact, um, yeah, all right. So uh, I don't think resonance is going to play too big a role in our electrocyclic reactions here. So when we did the ring, uh, when we did uh, this situation, we got really just one product, I guess. Yeah, I guess just the one product. But here we got the two products, one major and one minor. Good.
conradatory or disradatory? Disradatory. That sounds right. Here we have an odd number of errors. An odd number of errors, or you could say that we have six electrons total participating, or an odd number of errors, and it's thermal, so it's going to be disrotatory. Now, remember there's two different positions for your thumbs. There's the flat positions, and there's the up-down positions. So how am I starting here? Well, I'm starting in trigonal planar, so we're starting flat. And uh, this thumb, should this thumb be inside or outside? Yeah, both of my thumbs should start on the outside in a flat position. All right, and now, um, for example, I could rotate this clockwise. Then how should I rotate the other one? So clockwise and counterclockwise until they're in up and down positions. Uh, and now they're both, and now, instead of using the terms inside and outside, the stereochemistry terms we should use are cis and trans. Um, or you could just say they're both on wedges. They're both pointing up, so they're both going to be on wedges. Or they could both be on and we have to decide if that's a separate product or the same product. Separate. Same, meso. Oh, This right, is right, meso. Right. This is meso. Um, and I think it's pretty easy to see if you draw it out as well. So either one would be a That's right. So in this case, to start with, I rotated this clockwise and this counterclockwise, and that put them both up. But suppose I had, oh, this is going to hurt, but suppose I rotate this one clockwise and this one counterclockwise. Ow. Um, then they'd both be still, still sits, both pointing in the same direction. So, um, so that would give us this picture over here. But these are really the same thing. It should be obvious that you can flip one to put on the other. So you wouldn't want to keep both of these in your answer. You'd only want to use one. You can either draw them both on wedges or both on dashes, but you should only save one of those pictures. Okay, so uh, that would give us uh, this picture over here. Very good. This one. So going through the hand method again, in the starting materials, um, should I be putting my fingers in the up-down or the flat positions? Flat. So we start flat, and now one of them should be inside and one should be outside. So I guess I can put this one on the inside and this one on the outside. And are we doing con or dis rotatory? Dis. For the same reason as we had it up here, dis. So let's say that this one turns counterclockwise, then this one should be turning clockwise. That seems to make them end up trans to each other. one or two products here? Two. Two. The easiest way to see that is, is this meso? No. 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 So we expect it to come out both ways. 